Okay, so let's say you know that the average distance between the Earth and the Moon is 3.8 times 10 to the fifth. So if I just set this up, here's our distance, or an average distance, of course, 3.8 times 10 to the fifth kilometers. How would you write that in standard form? Well, 3.8 times 10 would give you 38. And the reasoning here is by multiplying 3.8 by 10, you, your number becomes 10 times larger, right? 38 is 10 times larger than 3.8. And, and part of what's happening in, in a very simple way is that every time you multiply by 10, you make a number 10 times larger and your decimal moves once to the right. Here it moved from between 3 and 8 to over here, 38. So it moved once to the right. So 3.8 times 10 to the second should give you, right, 38 and a 0, right? because our decimal moves twice, and this is a zero here. So 3.8 times 10 to the third would give you 38 and then zero, zero, or 3,800. And 3.8 times 10 to the fourth would give you 38 and then three zeros. And then lastly, 3.8 times 10 to the fifth would give you a three and an eight and then four zeros. I noticed that there are here four zeros for an exponent of five three zeros for an exponent of four, two for an exponent of three, one for an exponent of two, and no zeros for an exponent of one. In other words, there's always one less zero than the number of exponent, than the number that the, the exponent is here. And that's because when you move your decimal once to the right, the first movement has to go past this eight right here. So there would be the same number of zeros as the exponent, except the first move, of course, is taken up by this eight. So if you think about the hopping, for example, 3.8 times 10 to the fifth. Well, 3.8, if we watch this decimal, the first hop is here, then the second, third, fourth, and fifth, leaving only four zeros there. And that might help you count for larger scientific notation conversions. All right, thanks.